for prayer is nothing else than being on terms of friendship with God. There are more tears shed over answered prayers than over unanswered prayers. The feeling remains that God is on the journey, too. To have courage for whatever comes in life, everything lies in that. All things must come to the soul from its roots, from where it is planted. Prayer is an act of love, words are not needed. Even if sickness distracts from thoughts, all that is needed is the will to love. It is a most certain truth. That the richer we see ourselves to be, confessing at the same time our poverty, the greater will be our progress, and the more real our humility. If God should desire to raise us to the position of one who is an intimate and shares his secrets, we ought to accept this gladly. How friendly all men would be one with another, if no regard were paid to honor and money. I believe it would be a remedy for everything. Do you think it is only a little thing to possess a house from which lovely things can be seen? I am more afraid of those who are terrified of the devil than I am of the devil himself. I am more afraid of those who are terrified of the devil than I am of the devil himself. Be gentle to all and stern with yourself. More tears are shed over answered prayers than unanswered ones. To reach something good it is very useful to have gone astray, and thus acquire experience. We can only learn to know ourselves and do what we can, namely, surrender our will and fulfill God's will in us. Pain is never permanent. I do not fear Satan half so much as I fear those who fear him. I know the power obedience has of making things easy which seem impossible. All blessings come to us through our Lord. He will teach us, for in beholding his life we find that he is the best example. I thought of the soul as resembling a castle, formed of a single diamond or a very transparent crystal, and containing many rooms, just as in heaven there are many mansions. While the soul is in mortal sin, nothing can profit it, none of its good works merit an eternal reward, since they do not proceed from God as their first principle, and by Him alone is our virtue real virtue. Anyone who truly loves God travels securely. It is no small misfortune and disgrace that, through our own fault, we neither understand our nature nor our origin. God has been very good to me, for I never dwell upon anything wrong which a person has done, so as to remember it afterwards. If I do remember it, I always see some other virtue in that person. God gave us faculties for our use, each of them will receive its proper reward. Then do not let us try to charm them to sleep, but permit them to do their work until divinely called to something higher. A soul which gives itself to prayer, either much or little, should on no account be kept within narrow bounds. I had a father and mother, who were devout and feared God. Our Lord also helped me with His grace. All this would have been enough to make me good, if I had not been so wicked. When the soul, through its own fault, becomes rooted in a pool of pitch-black, evil-smelling water, it produces nothing but misery and filth. <laughs>